I'm Robert Bollinger, I'm founder of Bollinger Motors. I used to draw cars all the time when I was a kid. Back then I remember uh, wanting my own car company for some reason, I didn't know what that meant. But I would draw cars a lot and draw logos and, and the like. So when I had the opportunity to do something, I, I thought, well, um, why, let's try it. Well, it was always electric because I just feel that's where everything's gonna end up. Simple, basic, tough, strong. The entire concept of a, an off-road, on-road truck that has unmatched ground clearance. Plug into it and fix fences. You can power your cabin up in the woods that's off the grid. Oh, you know, imagine you're going through the woods and you're not, you don't have to listen to this sound of this engine as you're, you can actually, you know, enjoy nature. You can put your 20 foot pieces of lumber up the middle of the truck. You can, you can do whatever you need to do with it. A lot of it is just, you know, function driving the form. Um, so you'll, you'll see that it's, the body is not real flashy, it's very basic. We are engineering uh, the world's first all-electric sport utility truck. This has to mm. flex, you know, to open. So the stiffer that stack is, the, you know, the more pressure you build before it opens up. My name is Carl Hacken. My role here is chief engineer, so I oversee the whole project. Carl was the big step in making that start. I'm specifically responsible for suspension, chassis, um, and the body. And then finding uh, John and CJ and just making the team. I'm John Hutchison. I work here as an engineer on the cooling system, brake system, uh, and high voltage electronics. It's as hands-on as it could possibly get. And it's honestly, this is like the stuff that I love doing in my own personal vehicles, except here I have more tools, more buying power, more engineering support. We're all enthusiasts and we're doing this because we love it. I'm CJ Winninger. My role on the Bollinger team is uh, heading up the drivetrain and gearbox design. I also do a lot of the manufacturing. This is definitely not a, uh, a hammer and screwdriver type of job. Pretty powerful to be able to design something in CAD, uh, understand how it works and how you'll be able to make the part as well, and then be able to go and make it yourself. So you basically carry the entire cycle you know, through 100%. My name's Luck and I'm responsible for the uh, powertrain and the electrical and software system of the electric truck, the Bollinger electric truck. You can't just say I'm gonna do this kind of thing and just think it's gonna be easy. It's all about the team. You know, good, good people make a good product and you really can't have one without the other. I was supposed to be the designer and I did work on the design but I also got Ross in because he is trained as automotive designer. My name is Ross Compton. I am an automotive designer here at Bollinger Motors. I mean, I was surprised at getting the, the it's just great, a great team together. You know, Robert and Carl, they always give us a lot of flexibility as, um, as engineers and manufacturing guys to you know, do whatever we need to do to get the job done. We use each other's know-how and expertise. Everybody here has a job. Everybody here does their job incredibly well. It's not just like stuff that's been done before over and over, it's totally new. Basically, everything that we're doing right now, I think is gonna set us apart significantly from any other truck that you can buy for sure. Well, right now we're on schedule to be done with the prototype in 15 weeks. It's been a lot of months of guys sitting doing an awful lot of work on computers and engineering every part. You know, purchase orders and getting them out. So now it's all for me to see it being put together um, is great. And for every, there's a lot of running around and stuff like that. So it's all good. Carl is working on the suspension, getting all the suspension on wheels. CJ is doing gearbox work right now, putting those together to get them into the chassis, bolted to the motors, getting everything that's basically below the hip line down is all gonna be in there. John has been, he's been doing like the physical side of the high voltage. So he made all the components to hold the batteries together. 
the power distribution module and working with Luck directly on that. Luck is creating the VCU, which is the vehicle control unit, which has all the software that will talk to the entire vehicle and everything goes through that. A lot of wiring, it's gonna look really messy. You're gonna have this beautiful chassis that's all perfect and then it'll look like craziness and then it'll come back together. When you build a vehicle, you wanna build it ready for production, not just a prototype, just not a proof of concept. The next couple of months are gonna be hectic and crazy and cool. Robert's got a very clear image in his head and from the outset was very clear on the principles for the design. It's flat panels, it's bends, it's radius, it's chamfers, so it's classic, it's boxy, and it goes against everything that electric vehicles are, but it's on purpose. It's a vintage sort of design language, but also embodying modern elements to keep it firmly progressive. And so because we're not going high-tech with it, we're, it's not about um, computer screens, and we wanted the design of the vehicle to not look futuristic. All electric cars kind of follow the same sort of design language. They're made to look hyper-modern, just over the top. And this doesn't do that. This is just a plain, simple, 4x4, four four, uh, very traditional sort of styling. And that's something that that, that I think really sets this apart because it's completely different from everything that's out there. So at the very beginning I had uh, uh, ideas for this extremely square box thing and then Ross is going down certain paths on his own. So I'm suggesting things, I'm looking at things. I'm... So the design kind of just got a little bit lost and that's when um, I was really hitting rock bottom as far as like just trying to figure it out. So I sent everyone home for the week and didn't talk to Ross and I just was on SolidWorks for a week and just took where we were at and just played with it. And so I kept stripping off all these design aspects that had kind of gotten on there. So it just kept getting stripped more and more down to bare. From the flat panels along the sides to really crisp, clean sort of folds and ridges it kind of harkened back to the beginning of where we started and then Ross made a good point. He's like, well, if we went back there, there's a reason. Yeah, everything nowadays is so technology-centered. Being on your phones, being connected to everybody. The Bollinger truck is completely inspired by this whole feeling of just, you just get in it and you go. It's honest, it feels vintage, it's simple. And again, it's for those people who don't want what's out there on the road and they're a target audience that's been neglected within the electric world. There's a proper gap in the market, and I think this completely fills it. Robert Bollinger came to me and, and asked if we could do the color schemes and the, the layouts and the refinishing for their prototype electric truck, which is a, a great honor for us. And uh, we are right now in the finishing stages. It's been a, a long couple of weeks working late hours, and uh, it's been a fun project. Uh, well, we already built the truck once, or many times, put it together. Um, dry build, took it apart, had it all painted, had many, many, many parts painted, and plated and brought it all back, and, um, and then little last little fixes and trims. This is our last day. This is our last day of building the truck. So we have quite a bit of work to do, but getting the batteries in is huge because now everything, we can put the floors in, the seats in, it and build up from there. So we, we kept joking that it would be four, di four days straight before the reveal. And it was like, no, there's no way that could happen. So we're in a good spot. We have press people coming in before the event. And then uh, it's really all getting it ready for July 27th for the reveal. That's a whole other round of prep work. Getting the photographs of the truck and all that together. Uh, redoing the website. It, you know, there's a lot to do in two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks and two days. So the reveal was incredible. 
It was amazing that after all this time, all this work, all these crazy months, it was, it was insane. There was a lot of nerves, there was a lot of joy, there was a lot of craziness. So we had, what, 20 months that we built this prototype in, and then we do the entire presentation in like 40 minutes. And all of a sudden, it's all about, when can we have these? Which is a great response. And now, so now we have a whole new job, and that is to make a few thousand of these things.